Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is these birch trees from the Covered Bridge set. So I'm gonna show you how to put these together. These are super easy to use. They look really intimidating, but they're honestly not. So we're gonna to put together this scene. And in addition to the, um, the birch trees from the Covered Bridge set, we're also gonna use this tiny little vine from the uh, Blooming Birdhouse set. This tiny little one right here, we're gonna use that in the scene. And in addition to that, we're also gonna use something from the foliage set, so the tiny little grass. So that's all we need, uh, three images, the birch trees, the little vine, and the little grass. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out by imp inking the image of the birch trees. So this is a set of trees, and birch trees, the trunks of the trees are really kind of white. So a white gray, so we're gonna start with the African violet on the trunks, and we're gonna stamp this off. So, and you can see I just did the bulk of, this, of the trunks, so just the largest area, area, so this area right in here. And we're gonna just stamp that off because we don't really want that blue color. So we're gonna stamp it off a couple of times like this, and then we're gonna re-ink it now with the sepia. And sepia is that earthy color. It's just in everything. And so just the largest part of the trunk. Okay, now I'm go going to take the uh, number 15. So this is number 15 olive green and I'm gonna do the top part of the branches. I'm just gonna ink this all up. Make sure you get enough ink on here. And then I'm gonna stamp it kind of in the middle uh, of the paper, a little off to the side. Okay, so just like that, and I'm gonna repeat that. I don't necessarily need all the trees uh, in the next, on the other side, so I'm just gonna take a few of these. So now I'm gonna re-ink the other side. So I'm gonna start out uh, with the number 86 again, and I'm just gonna ink uh, this little group of trees here on the side, so not the whole thing. And I'm gonna stamp that off now a couple of times. And then I'm going to uh, just add the sepia now just these five trees right here. And then I'm going to do the same now with the number 15. So I'm going back over the green now. Now I'm gonna stamp it right next to this other group. So just about right over here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next stage. So we're gonna start out by pulling the color out of the lines. So because we want the tree trunks to be kind of white, we're gonna, we're gonna drag the color out to the negative space. So we're gonna pull it out now to the outside. And just a little bit here. Just kind of follow these lines and drag this color out. This is how we're gonna keep the trunks looking white. And you can see they're kind of a cool gray, which is exactly the color that we want. Just keep dragging this color out a little bit. You can see where the trunks overlap. Just drag that color down so we can show that they're in front. See how this, this tree is kind of on the, on the front of this other one? Just pull that color forward. If you feel like you're getting too much color on your brush, dip it off and pinch it off so that you don't get too much color in here. Okay, now dip your brush again, and we're gonna start by pulling the color out of the lines here in the green. So this, this will all sort of blend together. The really small uh, branches will just blend into the green. The, the larger ones, you kinda wanna repeat the same process again. So you wanna leave some white areas and just kinda pull that green out of the lines, just like we did with the larger part of the trunk. And these, these trees are pretty tall, so you want to kind of drag that green all the way up. Just keep working your way across. The small branches are going to kind of blend out. And the larger ones you kind of want to show. So just drag that green down. Just 
keep working your way across. And let's move on to the other group of trees. Just pull that green up high because these are tall. And just kind of, you're kind of bouncing your brush. So you're not, you're not um, using a brush stroke. You're just kind of dabbing and softening the lines. And these larger branches, we want to show those. So just pull the color to the outside of those so that you can see that white area. And it just kind of starts taking shape. Keep pulling this color out. Take your time with this. It's so relaxing and fun. It's not meant to be stressful. And it's going to all work. Okay. So we've got our green coming out. You can see your trees are starting to take shape here. Okay. So now we're going to take the little tiny leaf that comes with these trees. So it's just a tiny, tiny little group of leaves like this, just a little cluster. And you can see that they either point up or point down. So we want these to point up. So we're gonna put them on the little block. And I, I usually put it in the corner so it's easier for me to see where they're going. And we're gonna use a darker color now. So we're gonna use the pine green and we're just gonna ink these. And we're just gonna stamp them a few times. And you can see what we want is the texture of the leaves. Just here and there. This is just up to you how much of this you want to do. But remember to get it in there at least a few times, three or four times. I can put some down below. And off to the side. Some more over in this grouping. And just keep putting this, this in. Just ink it and stamp it up a few times. Just here and there. We want it to kind of look random. Don't worry about stamping it perfectly. We never worry about that. And we're really just trying to get the texture in here of the leaves. A couple more up here and we're probably good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna add water to that. We're gonna soften these lines and these are tiny little lines. So you just wanna dab at these. We wanna see the, um, you know, the outline of the leaves. We don't want it to be too bold. So we're just kind of softening that line and blending it together. Super easy, super fun. The more you play with these, just the better you're gonna get. The more comfortable you're gonna get with them. They just work for so many different projects. I just love these little, um, this little cluster of leaves. Also works great as a bloom. So you can use it for flowers um, into your little scenes. These are all meant to work together. Okay, getting this all blended in. Got a mix of color here. And if you want to, you can uh, add a little green to your palette. This is just my little plexiglass palette. So um, just a little acrylic sheet for mixing color. So we can take some of that green and add a little more in here too as well. Kind of want a mix of green. When you're looking at the trees, you know, there's always a lot of color in there. It's not just one color of green. So we're going to mix this all in. And that looks pretty good. You can go as high as you want with these trees. Add as much green and foliage as you want. That's just kind of up to you. Okay, so now we're going to take that brush and really pinch it off. This is when it would be really nice to use a really tiny tip 
So if you have a one, uh, go ahead and use that and just kind of follow this line down. Uh, you don't want to color the whole tree. You just kind of want to get the edge, so the side. And this is what's going to make those tree trunks look rounded. Very tiny. Just a really small brush stroke just to kind of round these tree trunks. It's going to give them a lot more dimension. And we want things like this to look round. And in order to get that, we have to do the darker color on the outside. Light on the inside, dark on the outside. You don't really have to do much with these uh, little hash marks that go across the trunk. Just kind of leave those alone. They're more for detail. So you don't really want to blend too much color out of there. Okay. So let's brush in our water. We've got a little creek running through here. So we're going to brush in the water. And I am going to use an ultramarine. This is number 50 ultramarine. It's a really, really bright blue. And we're just going to put a little stream in. Don't stress out about this thing. This is just the easiest thing to do. And you just want to kind of bend this, this little stream around. So make a little angle here and just sort of brush it around. Start out light because you can always add more color to it. Just bring it around just like this. A little lazy creek coming through. That looks pretty good. Right in between the grove of trees. And let's go ahead and put in the background now. So I'm just going to use this green again. And I'm just going to put in a little um, a little hilly background. So just bring this, this little line over like this. You can bring it clear over to the other trees. Make sure you get enough water in here. Start out light. It's always better to start out light because you can add more color to it. Just make a little hill here. Make sure you continue it over in between the trees. So we're just going to kind of continue this green over here in the background. And then we're just going to make another one and leave a little white uh, border so you're not blending both of these together. This is pretty subtle, but it is nice to have that separation between these these two hills. Okay, so let's bring this over now. Let's get a little green in here. This is just so easy to do, but it really adds another dimension to your image. Kind of looking through these trees over to the hills in the background. Okay, that's about all we have to do there. So let's now uh, ink those little, that little tiny foliage. And we're going to stamp some of that in the foreground here. So I'm going to use this number 15 again. And I'm just going to put it on this little tiny block. These little ones are so small. And if you have trouble with these sticking, I would just get a... Uh, a little acrylic block like this and just permanently adhere it to it. Especially the little grasses, these little vines, they're really um, easy to lose and you really don't want to lose these. These are so important. Okay, so we're just going to stamp this kind of in between these trees. These little foliages work so well. Let's just get some more of this in here. A little here and there. Just remember to stamp it over and over several times. At least five. And then we'll add some water to it. And blend.
Just dab. You're just dabbing. Okay, let's get our grasses in. So we're gonna use the same color again. And we're just gonna use the little grass now from the foliage set. And we're just gonna kinda of come in now underneath these trees. Just like this. The little grass can grow any direction. So you can you can stamp your grass any way you want to. We're gonna we're gonna come along this little creek as well with the grass. And just kind of follow it along here. Remember to stamp this over and over. This is so easy to do. Okay, and add water. So we're stamping and adding water. Just pull that color out of the lines. Pull that up and out so you're not, remember, you're not using a brush stroke. And brushing a little more color here from our palette. Remember, this is just the idea of things, so don't um, stress out too much about detail. This water is going to get darker kind of as it goes around the corner, so we can this a little darker back here. A little darker by the bank. You can brush in a little sky in between here too. Just use the same color and just put a little blue in here. Is all from your palette. Start out light. It's always better to start out light. You can always add more color. And if you find that you've gotten it too dark, just, just dip your brush and just wash it out a little bit. Can put a little bit over here. Let's add a little darker color now to these hills. This is the number 72. So I'm just gonna put a little darker color in here just to kind of separate this. Okay, let's add a little color now. So I'm actually using a number 25 bottle green, but you could use any um, tropical color. You can use any color. We're just gonna put in some little color here. So right above these little, um, this tiny little vine, and we're just gonna use the tiny little vine, but we're just gonna ink the tops. So just the very tops of this. This is tiny. And just stamp it in over the top. So it's the same stamp that we used before. We're just putting a little color in just from the top. You can put a few out here, kind of over the water, and just fade that back. Don't overdo this. It's really easy to do that, to just kind of get too much going on here. It's just better to keep it simple. And then just touch this. These are tiny little lines, so make sure your brush is clean and it doesn't have a lot of water on it. So we don't want to lose the integrity of the stamp. We want to soften the lines, but we want to still see those, um, see the image of the flower. This just works so well. I 
Okay, that looks about finished. Be sure to sign and date. This is gonna be different every time you do it. Mount this on a card and give it away or put it in a frame. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.